Welcome back. I'm Maria Bartiromo. We are coming to you live this week from the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference in San Francisco. The business of life science is booming, and Third Rock Ventures is helping lead that charge in investing. Third Rock includes over 51 portfolio companies with nearly $2 billion in funds raised. Joining me right now is Third Rock Ventures partner, Abby Selnicker. Abby, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks, Maria. Thanks so much for here. joining us. And I love your business because you have this great vantage point in really understanding where the growth is in healthcare. And you've been investing and creating companies uh, based on the marriage of healthcare and technology, isn't that right? That's absolutely correct. So basically we say that we like to look at the convergence between business, science, and medicine. Uh, we think about high unmet need, where do we see the best opportunity for patients to be served, and then what are the technologies that are cutting edge and disruptive that if we put them to work and look at how to really carefully assess how they should be applied to unmet medical need and big healthcare problems, um, we, we take extra time and really build these companies that we think bring those things together in a way that's really going to make a difference. And you're seeing a lot more usage of AI, machine learning. Tell us about Absolutely. that and where you're actually finding growth. Absolutely. So I think that what's very interesting is people have thought a lot about artificial intelligence and machine learning as being the end um, product of, you know, a, 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 a specific company's um, activities. We're actually looking at it as facilitating how we can discover and develop more appropriate drugs for a specific patient population. Uh, it helps us to look at very, very large data sets. One of the things we can do now, we can just generate so much data with all of the technologies that have become very high throughput technologies. But with things like machine learning, it allows us to interrogate that data more quickly in a more informed way and apply it to a broader sub, you know, sort of cross section of um, applications. Well, give me an example. In, in fact, tell me how machine learning and AI is impacting cancer, for example. Absolutely. So if you think about cancer, cancer is many diseases. Um, not only when you think about a specific um, type of cancer like lung cancer or colon cancer, even within those specific subsets of cancers, there are many different diseases within those subsets. So when you think about the um, sequencing of the cancer uh, cells, actually finding out what are the genetic sequences of those cells and how they might have mutations that are a little bit different uh, than another cell, that allows you the bit the machine learning and the uh, data analysis allows you to say, wow, a patient with this mutation should be treated with this drug, and a patient with this mutation maybe needs a combination of mm, drugs. I so see. it's a much more informed approach towards both developing the therapies but then applying them. So tell us about some of the companies that you find most exciting right now. Yeah, I think that some of the companies that are really, really exciting for us in our portfolio are companies that maybe were started a few years ago that really are starting to make a difference. Um, Sage Therapeutics is a company that has developed a therapy for postpartum depression. And that's something of huge unmet need and something that really wasn't called out that much until you actually identify a potential therapeutic. Interesting. And so we're seeing um, very positive phase three data right now on um, a pill for postpartum depression where previously we had just had a shot for it. I so see. we think it's going to increase the access and get to people sooner. So that's an exciting yeah. um, company for us. And, you know, we are also seeing bluebird medicines and blueprint medicines. Very exciting. We will leave it there. Abby, it's great to have you. Thank you. Thanks Marie. so nice much. Abby Selnicker joining us.